Hey guys, it's kind of laid out, it's like one, but I was going to bring this uh, to school because I gave away the receiver, and um, well, this is just my old six disc changer from Pioneer. It actually used to work pretty well, and right now it doesn't feel like working so well. You see the mechanism working there to change out the discs, I'm going to make it. It also doesn't really kick back out the thing anywhere, anymore, but I got that sort of figured out. It just needs to be re-greased. But, anyway, so watch this. You can hear it. I, I think it's not achieving focus lock, but it's also, it wasn't spinning, so I'm not really sure what to think. If it's not spinning, or if it's not achieving focus lock. Anyway, you can listen for yourselves. I'm moving in close to the mech. nothing. Anyway, I'll press play. You'll hear it again. It'll make... Ooh, I almost touched something. It'll make a little bit of noise. So I don't know if it's just not spinning or what. So anyway... I might try to fix it right now, I don't know, I might just get lazy and decide I don't want to. Come on, give back the... There it goes. I don't know what that thing's deal is, that's new, that didn't used to always be. So hard to move. Okay. Well, nope. we'll see if I can't get it to spin. Okay, so I took the top of the mechanism off and... Is it me or... Does that lens look a little... Lensless. I think it's missing something. And I heard a little rattling in the case. So I'm gonna go see if I can't just find that little lens laying on the bottom of this tray. I bet you that's where it is. I'm just gonna shake it around a little and see if I find it. Alright. So sure enough, I took the machine, and I flipped it over, and I shook it over my counter. And what, did I, what pops out? That little lens. So I'm gonna pop it back in here, give it a little silicone sealer around the edge, I think, and see if it doesn't hold. So using a little bit of my Miracle Price Gouging Glue from Hobby Town USA. Five to fifteen seconds dry, and we'll see what happens. I think it was actually only two ninety nine, so I guess that's not terrible. It's a lot of glue. It's just super glue. It's for bonding tires to my RC car, but whatever. Anyway, you can see where, or maybe you can't. Now you can't. Now you can see where I touched up around the edges, and we'll see if this little plastic lens holds this little plastic carriage, and then maybe we can play a plastic CD that's coated in aluminum, so it holds data. Don't judge me. It's tired. I'm tired. It's tired. Well, they're both tired. We're both tired. Damn third person. Okay. You know what? I'm going to stop talking because I'm sounding less intelligent by the second. I'm going to put this thing back together and see what happens. Alrighty, so I've hooked it back up, ribbon cable and this. And I'm, I don't know if this CD has anything on it. It says good music, but I don't know. This is my old handwriting and I don't trust it. So I'm going to use a CD that was in it, which means it probably had something on it, like this one. I don't know what it is. I'm not going to put it all the way in yet. I need to re-grease that track, too. Uh, I'm just going to plug in my headphones. I don't want to plug this into the amp. Everybody's asleep right now. And we'll see if we get something. It's literally just a kitchen table repair. Not really anything too intensive. Okay. So it's back on. We'll turn it on. There we go. Plug it in. Oh, she's spinning. Okay, here we go. Press play. I hear things on my headphones.
I never realized CDs spin so slow when they're in there. It's not even like... Okay. Okay, I'm gonna track forward. This must be an Oasis CD. Love this song. Yep, definitely Oasis. She's working. I kind of like this about the disc changer. The whole thing moves. If you go to like another disc, the whole carriage moves. Watch this. I'll go like to disc six. I don't know, I just thought that was kind of cool. Anyway, so... Clearly it works. Gotta love my sure headphones. Look at that. Multiplay... Oh, I knocked the logo off. Well, another good job for Superglue. Multiplay compact disc player PDM702 with the Pulse Flow DA converter. And it actually, look at this. Pulse Flow DA converter. I just thought that was kind of cool. They actually put the name right on there that it was Pulse Flow and even their logo which is basically just an ohm symbol with a tuning fork in the middle. Anyway, so yeah, its display actually shows quite a bit. I always like that about it. Auto volume controller, fader, a repeat, time, Tells you in different things. Highlight, I don't remember what that does. And just a fader, compu fade thing. I don't remember what all these do. Anyway, I'm gonna go to bed. Bye bye, everybody.